Yes, I'm alive. Sarah's live. Um, my son's asleep, so I'm gonna try to keep this a little shorter. Um, I guess I'm gonna read poetry. I don't know. Um, I've been spending a lot of time reading horoscopes, but um, I've been playing catch up, kind of. Hey, Cherise, I wasn't expecting you to be online. Um, you're one of my girls, so I wanted to include you, so I tagged you. I hope you don't mind. Um, I never know. Aw, thank you. I never know who wants to be tagged and who doesn't. <laughs> um, I had somebody block me, so story time, I had somebody block me because I failed to see their comment about not tagging them in my next video. Like, I didn't see it for two months, and he had, like, blocked me a month before that for tagging him. I didn't see the comment. I didn't know that he didn't want me to, and I was like, well, my bad, sorry. I was like, he was pretty heated about it, too, and I'm like, what are you so mad about? I didn't see your comment, didn't realize that you didn't want to be tagged. My bad. Anyway, I don't... And now, ironically, I think his name was Mike. That's my boyfriend's name. <laughs> it's a popular name. Anyway, so, yeah, um, I can't, obvi obviously, hopefully the title isn't misleading, because I obviously can't read, like, um, porn on here. I would get kicked off, and Facebook is extremely important for me to have access to. Who the hell just followed me on Snapchat? <laughs> Y'all can sit back and laugh at that. Replay it. Make a meme out of it. Something. That was great. I was like, what? <laughs> anyway. Um. Aww. I'm supporting the show. I know you are. You're just playing a game. It's great. I wish Char was still here, you know? That's, um, my, that's one of my best friends who, um, passed away from cancer about six months ago. She loved it when Mike and I would get on live together. She said it was good. Hey, John. Good to see you. I, you want to join me on video? <laughs> really? Okay, Mike, what should I do? He wants to join me on video. Who's John? Oh, he's, um, just someone who, um, randomly commented on something and we became friends a few weeks ago. Mm, I'll allow it. <laughs> oh, no, I thought I had to click that, sorry. Okay, <laughs> you're good. No, you don't. <laughs> Um, Facebook Live can be tricky. I actually know how. You're good. You're good. I got it. I got it. Um, I usually know how to use Facebook Live better than any other app, so it's one of the reasons why I go live mainly on Facebook. Not to mention most of the people that I know who want me to go live don't know how to use Instagram or Twitter. <laughs> so, um, Facebook it is. Facebook's been good to me, though. I created this account to get away from an account that I had before that that would not stop um, giving me account warnings. And it wouldn't tell me why, it just said I had a restriction. I'm like, okay. So I decided to make a new account and I actually ended up getting paid for my content. Yeah, that's not something that I advertised until just now. Literally. Um, Facebook's been good to me. And when I went into my bank account to see if I had some spare change for the gas station, I saw that I had over a hundred dollars in there and I'm like, huh? Where the hell did this come from? It said Facebook Incorporated. I'm like, what? Yeah, so it's paid off. Watching your cowboys play at the moment. Cowboys? <laughs> I'm from...
I live in St. George, Utah, but I'm from Dallas, Texas. That's why I said that. You know, the Dallas Cowboys. So, um, yeah, I actually have a picture of me with the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders, the 2012 team. Well, I did have it. I would have to ask um, Brittany Smith for it for the thousandth time. She has it, and she knows how to keep her pictures. <laughs> I'm serious. She sent me that no less than ten times, and I, I erased it. I'm like, what? I have to go into my Facebook and find it so I don't bother her again. But I don't feel like doing it. Um... Really, who would? I post so much that I think it would take me a day to get through that. Get out. I'm jealous. Where do I sign? Just popped in to show my support. Oh, you're good. Thanks for being here. You're awesome. Um, and Mike says hi. I told him you're a good friend. Obviously, you were sitting right here listening. <laughs> um, I am... I have my blonde moments, but I make fun of them. And that's how I got popular on Twitter in 2019. I would make fun of my blonde moments. I would basically, like, post bloopers to my timeline. People loved it. I was like, this is, I'm good at this. And unfortunately, it's really hard for me to, um, keep my train of thought. I suck at that, and I have no context. I'm a great writer, but I have no context, and therefore it's difficult for me to do that. Alright, for real now, gotta watch the game. Oh, well, well, I'll check this out tonight. And hey, Mike, heard good things. Hope nothing but the best for you, too. Oh, did you hear that, Mike? Who said that? Uh, he said, all right, for real, gotta watch the game, lol, I'll check this out tonight. And hey, Mike, heard good things. Hope nothing but the best for you, too. Thank you. That is so sweet. Um, yeah, we had an emergency last week, and I'm not going to explain what I what it was. Um, some of my friends know. Some of them don't. If you're close to me, you know. Um, I can't share it publicly. Um, and I... Um... I had one of the worst weekends of my life last weekend, and this weekend was packed with problems just because I'm in a hotel right now, and, um, oh my god, I, sitting in a room, sitting in one room with a child or children that don't know what noise control is, oh my god. You know, this the quiet can get to you sometimes, but sometimes you just want quiet. You know what I mean? Okay, it's too silent. Would you rather have someone talking to you and then listening to YouTube at the same time? And <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh my God. And I have one. I I, I don't I don't know how my mom did it. Jordana, my God, hey. <laughs> Sorry, I just looked at the comment section. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I don't know how my mom did it. Kudos to her. I didn't tag her in this because she doesn't like being tagged in a lot of stuff. But, um, I don't know how my mom did it. Oh my god. I have, like, five in one child. It is... It's a beautiful thing, you know? He's unique, but... And I love that. And I love that I get to be on that level of self-awareness with him. But it is overwhelming. And this weekend was really shitty. <laughs> he has um, level 2 autism with a speech impediment and some other issues that I can't speak on publicly because that would not be appropriate. He is disabled. He, I don't know if you, um, I don't know if children qualify for disability and at what age they begin to qualify for it, but, um, he definitely qualifies. Um, he has something in common with somebody else that I lived with when I met you, Jordana, and, um... It's a disability. He will definitely get it. 
um, even people who have poor reading, writing, math skills, they have a very high chance of getting it. He has very poor English skills. Like, he can talk, clear, obviously, clearly. But, um, he has a speech impediment. It slows him down. It frustrates him. And he, um, he, he will repeat something over and over again. Okay, cool. I can't read the whole message, dude. Sorry, my sister just messaged me. Anyway. <laughs> um, he will repeat something over and over again until he knows what he's going to say, and that's part of his speech impediment. And I'm terrified for him in the future that people are just going to mess with him when I'm not there to tell someone not to, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I have to go also, have to get up early, hope you have a great evening, peace and love. Thank you for popping on, Bob, I appreciate it. I will mention you in a comment when I'm done with this live. I usually answer comments. It's true, I totally get the 5 in 1. Oh my god, girl, how? How do people do 5 children? Sometimes I would rather have five children that do not have any disabilities just because I mom needs a break sometimes. But at the same time, I wouldn't trade it for anything because there are blessings that come with those disabilities. Ah, I'm serious, there are. You know, um, I was going to say it's... I've seen miracles happen for people who took on a greater responsibility of something that they didn't even, that they weren't even responsible for just because they're good people and they were blessed in ways that they never dreamed of. I'm just like, okay, well, I made the choice to have him when I had him with who I had him. That's on me. That's not his fault. And, um... I love looking at him while he's sleeping. He needs a shower. <laughs> Not as bad as he does. Um, he's been sick. I didn't make him do anything. Um, but, like, I didn't make him do anything last week. He just, he didn't feel well. But he needs to clean up now. Um, anyway, so yeah, you get my point with all of that. Yeah, um... I'm sorry if I bored anyone with that. I was kind of just introducing um, this, whatever you want to call this, <laughs> with um, with what I just said and everybody jumped on at once. I'm usually waiting like five minutes for everyone to jump on. <laughs> everyone hopped on fast. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Um, so... Oh yeah, I gotta share this with you. So this is so beyond annoying, right? No matter what I do and how many times I brush this part of my hair, it scrunches up at the top like this. See? It looks like I have helmet hair. What the... I need a haircut. It drives me nuts. I will literally, I, I'm, I understand what people are looking at now when I'm out in public. I'm like, what are people looking at? Yeah, I look like I have helmet hair on one side of my hair and a hump. I need <laughs> to cut my hair. I'm trying to go all natural. I'm trying to use moisturizer and I'm trying to go all natural. I hate my red hair, but I, I'm trying to go all natural because... This is so brittle. This is... I need moisturizer. This is too brittle. And I'm worried about it. I don't want my hair falling out when I'm young. Yes, John. Helmet hair. You just need more moisturizer. <laughs> shampoo and conditioner. I know. I pack on the shampoo and the conditioner. Especially the conditioner. <laughs> I used to buy how much purple and blue shampoo, and then I ran into trouble in Iowa back in 2021, and I lost my entire house. Good thing I didn't take everything with me. I'm not going into that story. It's bad energy. Um, so, yeah. Um, I 
should probably pull up my Microsoft Word. Redkin Extra Moisture. Thank you. I will get that. I've been shopping on Amazon lately for um, products that I've been putting off getting. That's what I was trying to say. And, um, yeah, I'm starting to understand that there are some things that I can't put off, and getting moisturizer is one of them. Yeah. I'll take a pic of the ones I use, and nothing is better. I You have mentioned that many times over the last year and a half. That's how long it's taken me to pursue purchasing it. <laughs> I'm stubborn. If I don't have to have it, I will spend my money on something that I want if I can get that instead. I am used to going without certain necessities so that I can have what I want, if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know how else to put that in an appropriate way, and I'm not talking about physically or anything like that, just like, what's the best example I could give you? Um, paying my phone bill when I was homeless. Oh no, no, no. That's what I didn't want to do. I would rather have, okay, I smoke cannabis. We all know I have a medical card. If you follow me, you see my posts about it all the time. Or sometimes. Um, I would rather buy that to help me feel better than pay my phone bill. I'd rather just use Wi-Fi. I'm serious. That's what I'm talking about. There's my example. You got that backwards, Sarah. LOL. Gotta switch those around and make that your reality. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm misreading it. <laughs> Um, okay, so let me open Microsoft Word and find something to read. Oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> Dear Jacob, now this is something that I submitted to um, Wild Ink Publishing's anthology that they have. Um, it's an anthology, I'm going to try to explain this, I don't know if you're going to understand, but um, it's called Carnation Anthology, and it's based on, it's based on poetry that's just, it's, it's collected poetry, but the theme, yeah, that's what I was looking for, the theme is all these different goddesses like Aphrodite, um, that's the one that I picked because I've always, um, I've always resonated with Aphrodite the most out of all the goddesses. Um, so it's the Carnation Anthology from Wilding Publishing. They're actually publishing my other stuff as well. And it's under the genre of poetry. To elaborate, you, to elaborate, you said you put off things in... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm learning those lessons slowly. Sorry, I touch my hair, it's a nervous habit, and I also play with it so that it stays straight. <laughs> Somehow it works, kind of. I don't like having wavy hair, it looks weird on me. It looks weird on me. If you saw me with wavy hair, you would be like, oh. Don't be afraid to say it, I say it too. Oh. No, I, there's a reason I straighten my hair. And when I have tight curls, I had tight curls two years ago when I went to Dallas to deal with something, um, with custody. Um, I, eh, oh god, I love this, I love it when this happens. Mike, were you there when that happened? Oh, yeah. What was I just talking about? See, I have terrible ADHD. Like girls, when you had to do something. Thank you, yeah. Um, I, I had, um, see, he helps me. I had my sister curl my hair. <laughs> that was a big mistake, man. 
Um, <laughs> I didn't get to wash my hair for three days after that. And I had no brush. So the DFW airport decided that they were going to take my luggage and fly it to Salt Lake City. Without me. Yes. I didn't get to board, but my luggage did. We had to take a car. I didn't get to wash my curls out for three or four days. <laughs> Shit. So, um, yeah, I prefer to just keep my hair straight. It may look a little bumpy in the back when I take it down after I've had it up for a few hours, but it still looks better than what I look like with, like, um, curly hair that's gone wrong. <laughs> I'm the same. I have wavy hair, but I love my hair poker straight. Yes, I love my hair poker straight. It's, I look better in, sh in, in straight hair. I need to take my own advice. Sometimes you aren't the only one doing it. I've got a list of needs in the back burner, so I get it. Yeah, I appreciate your lengthy comments because that breeds more, um, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Life. No, no. Liberty. No. Not communication. It's engagement. Thank you. Community engagement. <laughs> That's the name of the game. Okay. All right, so I am going to read this. I know. I am going to read this. I... Sophia! Hey girl, I knew you would be, I knew you would be upset if I didn't tag you, so I tagged you even though you're doing a meditation, or you were going to. Love you. So I'm going to read this. This is what I submitted. I want to read this on live. I don't think I ever have. Um, it's Dear Jacob, I love you with a love that cannot die. Please know that, please know that, no matter what. I'm so sorry for the time I wasted, for the years I ignored you. I'm so sorry for not loving you the way I do now. I begged God to allow me to love you for so long. I write this sobbing with a throbbing soul. Please forgive me. I don't deserve you. I never did. I never will, but you love me anyway. I can't possibly fathom why you do, and you do it so gracefully and properly. You are a god yourself, my son. Please, dear Jacob, allow me to show you what it means to be my son. I adore you. I will protect you, and I will be your best friend. I promise. Please don't let my folly become your demons. I never wanted you to feel my pain. I want to be pregnant with you forever. Let me love you. I will not betray you even if it costs me every last thing I have. You are worthy, Jacob. It is your birthright. I will not let you fail. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for being my son. Because I, ha because of you, I have eternally won. I owe you all of it with interest. It's yours. I don't want it. Keep it. Cherish it. And please, just don't forget me, my precious. You are God to me. Love, Mommy. And they wrote that on my sister's birthday. Aww. Yeah, that is what I wrote in... I call it throbbing tears. <laughs> I was sobbing. I love you. Let me get to that meditation and I'll join in. I just took a shower. Um... Okay, hopefully I... Um... Hopefully you get in here in time. I'm... I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be on. But I don't want to be so exhausted that I'm falling asleep on here. I don't remember last time you joined, you were falling asleep. It was hilarious, and it was cute. Um, I love you back. And, um, yes. Please get back here as soon as possible. I love your presence. I love having you around. You are a dear sister to me. And so are you, Jordana. Um, I've known you since 20... 17. Yeah, I've known you since late 2017. Um, I've known a few other people a couple of years longer than that. But, um, 
Yeah, I've known you guys for, I've known most of you for almost 10 years. That's a long time. That's a really long time. My, one of my family members likes to talk about how you can't make friends online and that it's just weird and that you're supposed to make friends in person. And I'm like, people build communities that have gone viral all the time. Like, you're making fun of the creators of these billion dollar platforms, basically, saying that. Educate yourself. Anyway, so, yeah, um, I'm not going to read that again because I, it, wow, <laughs> that I had to breathe through that. Um, I teared up a little bit, you can't tell, but I teared up a little bit. I love him, you know, I was crying my eyes out when I wrote that. And, um, yeah, it's being submitted to an anthology. It will be the second one that I'm, no, it will be the third one that I am submitting work to. My first one was when I was 13. I don't have it anymore. The book was stolen, actually, unfortunately. Um, I have it in my notes on my iPhone, the one that my son uses, but I have to go in and find it and send it to myself. And I don't even know if it's the original copy. I, I kind of remastered it. Let me see if I have it on here. This is only, this computer is only a few months old. Oh my god, is it really on here? Ha <laughs> ha! Wow! I don't have the original, but I do have the remastered edition. I called it Freedom Remastered. Originally, it was called Freedom, and it was something that I had written in 7th or 8th grade. No, 7th grade, because I was able to skip 8th grade. And, yeah, I skipped 8th grade. That's not something everybody knows about me. <laughs> anyway, um, that also tells you that I, I was smart. I was able to skip 8th grade and graduate on time. Mm -hmm. Um... No one shuts up about it. <laughs> I didn't know that. Wow. You never told me that. That is literally the first time I've ever said anything about it. Nerd. Oh shit, I forgot I had this sitting here. Nerdy like her bookie book. I can't believe that. <laughs> I had this. I wonder I'm getting tired. I had this sitting here the whole time. Yes, I'm drinking coffee. I'm also on live when half of America is starting to get ready for bed, so I do my stuff at night. If I tried to jump on here while my son was a was awake, um, that probably would not end well. <laughs> and I don't mean that in bad terms. I'd probably get the phone knocked out of my hand, and then he would probably try to call 911. I'm serious, he's done that before. He called 911 three times in 2014 with a phone that I drowned the same year. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong, sweetheart? What, honey? I'm just hitting something up in the microwave. You can go back to sleep, sweetheart. You're fine. You're fine. I want... You want a what? I... I mean what? I am not sure what you're saying, and I'm... She fell back asleep. Yeah. I just Okay. I finally just figured out how to use this. Oh my god, I never use microwaves. I didn't grow up with one. It was literally what I was looking for this entire time. So seriously, feel free to laugh. Did you ever put a fork in the microwave? I did one. I think I did, yeah. It's cool. 
Sorry. I'm literally like, okay. Didn't register to me. Sarah, you're trying to figure this out on live. <laughs> I thought you literally were going to go in the bathroom because I already told you that much. I thought you just got up to go in the bathroom. I was like, no, oh, no. No. Stop doing that to my arm. But no, that's not why. It's not appropriate. I realized that I had coffee that got gold and I'm kind of annoyed about it because it's yummy and I wanted it. And I like doing long lives. It's only been like, how long has it been, 20 minutes? Probably. I used to do three or four hour long lives. I had nothing else to do. I was in a hotel for a month. <sighs> this was back in 2018. I was in a hotel for a month. I was literally so bored, I watched the Kardashians. I... I... I, I don't really have a reaction to that. I'm just commenting. I did, I would do the super happy fun hour what? on Twitch. Oh. That was the name of my show. That's cute. Super happy fun hour. And it's just me staring at a screen for an hour playing the game. <laughs> Send me the join link. What join link? It's a bot. It's a spammer. No, it's Sophia. Oh. Um, join link to what? I think she wants to get on live with me. That is okay, and that is literally, um, um, that totally aligns with what I did earlier on my, on one of the sites I'm trying to set up booking with. It aligns with your chakras? No, it aligns with the fact that I put her on as an employee. She's your employee? I will explain it to you. But well, you're an employee of Michael Corp. Michael! There's no sub-employment. <laughs> we don't allow it at Michael Corp. Aren't we funny? Oh, you don't think I'm funny. <laughs> Have you? I love you more. Mm -hmm. Um... Probably do. <laughs> Great kidding. comeback. I'm just Not kidding. a good joke. Are you kidding? Probably do. <laughs> just kidding. I love you. I love you. I love you. Like, I <laughs> so, love you. Sophia laughed. She's laughing at what you said. I love you like I love cake. He loves me like he loves cake. I love cake. you more than I love cake. Kara, hey girl, what's up? How are you? I tagged you because uh, you're, well, you're one of my girls and you always hopped in my inbox to make sure I'm okay, so I decided to tag you. I sent you a request. Hold on. I will be mad if I hang myself up. I'm still here but also babysitting my niece and of course my son. Wow, I have nannied, hold on, Sophia, I have nannied, um, multiple children at a time, but they did not have any disabilities. Um, my mom raised me and my sister being special needs and not having any idea that we were special needs. I'm totally serious. Am I special needs? I don't think that's what they call adults. You have you have mental health issues, but they don't call it mental they don't call adults special I'm a needs. Handful, I think they call it. <laughs> Being all serious over here and he's sitting here joking. God, I wish Shari was here to watch this. Okay, I added you. Honey, do I? Don't I know it? Oh my gosh. Uh, Jake.
It is um, five children in one, literally. Okay, it's not working, darling, Sophia. It's not working. It just says adding. Um, I don't have the greatest internet connection here. It goes in and out a lot. Hold on. Just Asperger's is not as obvious anymore. Yeah, usually people with Asperger's are able to control it as they get older. Ah, hey! <laughs> uh, usually, excuse me. I know that I'm in a towel right now, but it's, it's for a very good reason. I actually wanted to keep my hair up during during this session. I wanted my glasses on. But um, you're talking about chakras earlier, and I really, really wanted to engage in the conversation about this because this is something I'm slowly but surely becoming an expert in, and I wanted She's to talk to you right now. About it. Great. Yes. I want to talk to I want to talk to you about the chakras. Um, I I have been um have been I have a lot of I have a lot of chakra books that I need to recommend to you. And so heads up if you might get some books from Amazon from me concerning that. Okay. Well done. Um, well done. Um, you're welcome, Jordana. Absolutely. Um, my one of my hold on Sophia one of my very close family members has um Asperger's I can't name who but they have Asperger's and they're able to oh I just got you blocked oh sorry I have Asperger's oh that's Tourette's oh I'm gonna get blocked oh that's Tourette's oh I'm gonna get blocked before you actually get me blocked sorry <laughs> anyway um okay so um you're welcome jordana and i forgot what i was going to say thank you mike anyway go on with what you were saying sophia um, we're good <clears throat> we're all good i'm just joking i know i know i just want to give you a heads up that you'll be receiving some books from me con uh, concerning uh -huh. the chakra church you know because i'm also looking at it from a scientific standpoint but um, um i have a book in front of me called the, the chakra bible so you might get a copy of that then uh, from amazon from me so you know me and i've been trying to help you out so that's that's a really that's a really big deal right now to me um <clears throat> Among other things, um, first of all, I loved your poem. I loved your piece that you read. Very, oh, very, thank very. You. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, there is something I wanted to read too. I, I wrote this about two months ago. Let me go ahead and pull it up for you. Um, the piece that I wanted to read is called "I Know," and um, and I actually read this at my I read, I read this at my my brother's uh, viewing a couple of months ago when, when he passed away. For those of you that do not know, my brother had um, had passed away due to a heart attack. And mm -hmm. um and it's been uh it's it's, it's been kind of crazy here because um um my world to put it in the best Greek metaphor possible, it feels like another pillar to my temple has fallen. If I can you know if I can put it in the best and the best metaphorical or a metaphor analogy possible and i wanted to read something okay so i have to find the, the correct here it is it was the final draft i wanted to read it's called i know i know where you are i, think I have it through my earphones mm -hmm. babe oh, oh i don't want i don't want to okay i don't want to interrupt what she's doing okay go on sophia my bad <laughs> it's, it's called i know I know where you are, you are safe and sound. I know where you are, you have a taste of how I think. I know where you are, you are watching and listening. I know where you are, you can see inside my soul. When you were here, you knew I was very, I was a very different thinker. But I know deep down, you admired my abstractness. Though my, my feet were small, Smaller than yours, you put yourself in my shoes. I know, though you put up with my my craziness. We had three things in common: we tried new things, we have vision, we are direct. I know things you left with me. You left me. You allow me to be one of your pillars. 
you found solace in our conversations. I know it was that in our flow of conversation you allowed me to be your sister. Mom! Hey, girl! Good to see you! Sorry, girl. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just looked down and saw my mom's name on there. I was not expecting to see that. Good to see you. Um, what time is it? Okay, it's almost nine over there. Anyway. I miss to see you. <laughs> Good to have you. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Go on, Sophia. <laughs> Uh, well, that's pretty much it. That was one of uh, that was the piece I wanted I wanted to read for the evening. That that was that was um, insightful. Yes, thank you. You're but welcome. I, what I wanted to talk to you because I know that your audience um, also in, um, is involved in the same things that we both are, and one of the things that I really I really got into in the last five or six years is the study of the of the chakra system. And what not a lot of people know is that the chakra is uh, the chakras in Sanskrit actually means wheels, okay? Or meals, wheels or discs. And what they are is they sit in the center of the nervous system. And they're organized the same way of... Uh, My sound just went out. Thank you. Thank you, Mercury. Retrograde. This is embarrassing. Your sound went out on your headphone? Her sound went out, or mine did. I'm not sure. Ask if they can still hear you. Can you guys still hear me? Sophia, I can't hear you. <laughs> no. You can hear me, okay. Sophia, darling, your sound went out. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I'm so sorry, girl. Yeah. It just stopped working, and I don't think my earphones died. I It just stopped working. That's kind of disappointing. She has insight. <laughs> I can do that. She was talking about that chakras. Do you know anything about that? There's one for your heart and one for your head. Okay, here we are again. Just me. Yeah, that was strange. She cut out. Oh well, that's okay. Um, it was nice to have you on here, Sophia. Thank you, <laughs> and thank you. You can't hear me either. Can anybody hear me? Jordana can hear me. That's strange. I think I think there's something going on with your phone. Or if there's not, I will end this and see if I can get back on. I can hear you. Obviously. <laughs> Gemma is saying hi. Can you say hi back? She will be so happy. Oh my goodness. Of course. Hi, sweetie. How are you? I'm one of your aunt's best friends. Okay, you can hear me. Sophia, you're, you're having issues with your phone. I don't think I can type that on here. I if... can type it. Okay. Anyway, um. On my computer. You can hear me now. Okay. Um. That's strange. My phone's been... Oh, yeah, my phone. 
has been giving me one option to do one thing in one app and another option to do another thing in another app. And it's been moving my pictures around. I don't know how else to Oh my God. And my birthday lands three days after the Mercury post shadow which is that three weeks of time after Mercury goes direct that it's still a little mucky. I'm terrified of it. The last one was horrendous. I don't even remember exactly what happened. I just remember thinking to myself, when is this going to be over? Seriously, I turned 31 three days into that. Yes, seriously, my birthday is on January 23rd. I will be 31. Oh my gosh, so precious, Gemma. So precious. Um, I'm so glad I got to make her day. Yay, that touches my heart, actually. Like, wow. I, I, I love children. Like, they are, I wanted to be a school teacher when I was in elementary school, and basically until I got to junior high, and then I got depressed, and I kind of teach people now, I guess you could say that. Some pe Someone who, um, her name is Natalia, I go, she goes by Niddles, she said, you do teach people, you write their horoscopes, I'm like, that is true. <laughs> It's not exactly the kind of teaching that I thought I would be doing. And I love toddlers. They're so freaking precious. I wish that I could go back to when my son was that little so I can just cradle him. Oh my goodness. Hi, 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 sweetheart. Oh my, my gosh, that's precious. I am so glad to be a part of that. She must feel me. <laughs> That's beautiful. Um, one of my friends who I tagged, but I don't think she's on here right now. Um, her daughter has called me every day for two, two years. She just decides to hit the call button. I almost never answer it. I'm going to sit over here because it's easier. I almost never answer it because I can't. I'm just busy. But yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. What? Uh, uh, I'm watching the stream. This would make a good picture if I wasn't on live. But anyway. I You look. My hair, girl. Oh my god. I'm surprised mine hasn't done what I uh, described. What's all that head you were talking about? Like, where mean? this side of my hair will, like, do this. It looks like it's scrunched up like that. It looks scrunched up? I, do, I just showed you. My hair looks yellow in the thing. Yeah, you can definitely tell I have red hair. I hate my red hair. Let's stop. Buy it. I'm trying to stay away from that. We only have three viewers. Ah, uh, aren't we entertaining enough? Um, Sarah? I don't. All right. So, yeah. Taylor, how long have I been on for? Taylor always tells me how long I've been on for. Or one of you, I don't know. <laughs> we got four viewers. I don't want to um, keep. I don't want to keep everyone for too long, and I also don't want to wake my son up either. He's stirring. Hey Taylor, how long have I been on for? Hey Mike, what's up? Mike Purcell just came on. Thanks, this girl. Forty-nine minutes. Oh dang! I usually do these for like forty-five minutes. You only read one poem so far. Let me. What's up, Mike? Mike Purcell is on here. All right. I 
am going to take my computer and put it on my lap and, and I'm going to read what I pulled up. It, it will take me a minute, so I'm going to sign off, off with this. Freedom. Remastered. Freedom is being myself exclusively. Freedom is being thine and to be in the presence of divinity. Freedom is knowing what's best for me, what's best for my family, beyond the confines of what I can see. Freedom is establishing my right to personal security without the fear of offending someone I've never met because they can't see over and through the blindfold yet. They haven't realized they're more than the bet they lost with themselves before the trial ever began. The eyes of God are far different than the eyes of man. What he will do, do is much different from what he can. What has freedom seen? Freedom fought for the infamy that is caught between the legs of Jezebel thrust into a notorious hell until it is found by the holy and eternal twin flame of the opposite name, disguised in shame to rid hell of the lies it chose to tell of the love that is only found from above, unconditionally. Freedom has been in a solar wave wipe freedom has seen a solar wave wipe a karmic slate clean to save us freedom has seen itself clarify exactly what it means when god forgave us freedom has seen the best at its worst and the worst at its best freedom has held every dream it ever it ever chased closely to its chest freedom has seen the noble leave a global legacy for people like me who have vision that they can hardly at least see with, but it was never a filthy myth, even if the illusion says no, even if the illusion says so. And when it does, it's got to go. Freedom has seen who it needs to be. Freedom has seen what it must see. Freedom has seen why it chose to be free. For what has freedom died? Freedom has tried to save every child who died. Freedom has died for every time you or I have cried for the lost souls that are still screaming to be born. Freedom has died for all to be vindicated and justified that were torn from the wombs and arms of their parents whom lost everything to survive in a world without their children. I wonder how. I wonder when. The time is now. Give God the chance to, to avenge without warning. One quiet, ordinary morning. Freedom has died for deaths that have multiplied. Freedom has died for every breath that's been stolen from the lungs of who it belongs to. Freedom has died for every shoe the homeless couldn't fill while they were violently ill. Freedom has died for the choice to live or die, so explain that to death row to approve a new amendment that is spent on our rights to live in a freedom we have only dreamed of. Curse the illusion and the intrusion. Freedom has died for the experience of the rhetorical expression of wondering why. Freedom has died to redeem every single time we have chosen to lie. Freedom has died to restore courage and confidence to the broken and the insecure obscurity of being shy freedom has died so we can give it one more try and why has freedom cried freedom has cried so our tears can dry freedom has cried so our years can reply freedom has cried so the truth will imply what it has witnessed and what it has done in a battle that will righteously tattle on every liar that tries to, that tries to rattle someone else's cage from the outside looking in to prevent them from an unfortunate win that takes them down the words of yet another page with a subtle hidden rage freedom has cried to empty this stage freedom has cried to prevent this all-consuming rage freedom has cried for the passing age freedom has cried for the sake of its own minimum wage freedom has cried for its forsaken stage. Freedom has gone through it all for the sake of the omnipresent and omnipotent call. Nothing has freedom denied that slavery hasn't implied. Freedom has done this to prove this adolescent truth with mature proof. Men and women in these wars aren't telling you what they died for. They've sacrificed more than their friends, families, and lives where the debilitating system thrives. For the sake of freedom's cause, we must stand for their honor, nobility, dignity, and courage, for just a taste of their eternal applause. Freedom asks you to open your eyes and see what it must tell you before it fell from its wistful power to endorse the whitest horse you've ever seen, 
with the whitest knight that rode all night just to see you, just to free you. Freed and blood to fix the hands that fed you, because they were once the hands that fed them too. Rush for your next crush, freedom gave you the power to be with whom you love, not who you're told to love. Copyright 2019, original copyright 2007. Oh, I like it. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm not sure who all is here. It said two, now it says four. Anyway, wow, that was a good one. I haven't read that in a long time. I wish I still had the original version, but that one is even better. I mean, I want the original version for posterity and kind of to um, compare the two, but anyway. Hey, hey Matt, what's up? Not who you're thinking. <laughs> His name is Matt Duran. Duran Duran. Duran? I, you might I'm sure he's even, never heard that one. I'm sure that doesn't. You might <laughs> you might even have him on your Facebook, I'm not sure. Alright. Awesome, Taylor. Um, so yeah, I am I have some stuff to do, so I'm going to get off of here in just a minute. But um yeah, I wanted to sign off with a poem and I haven't read that one in a minute. Alright, so Good. Good thank you. Man, I have I have traffic coming on. Well, that's great, guys. I'm I'm so happy to I'm so happy to see you on here. Thank you for joining. I am waiting for Taylor to reply. <laughs> um, the baby. Is that how you say that? I've seen your your posts. I think you were talking about being exhausted at a new job last week. I'm glad you. Made it through, man. Good job. The baby approved. Yeah. Um, seriously. Um, hey, how are you? Are you tired? <laughs> um, no, seriously. I admire when people are tired and they still, you know, push through. That's not everybody does that. I, I used to work the easiest job in the world. It was the best job I ever had. I miss it and I want it back actually and I have since I quit it. Um I didn't understand why people constantly called in all the time. I'm like, why are you calling in? This is like the easiest job in the world. And it pays more than nine dollars an hour. Anyway. <laughs> so um all right. Well I am going to hop off of here and I will do this earlier at this time next time. So that I have this traffic because it's 8.15 here and I had up to five or six people on here. All right. Anyway, um, I love you all and I hope that you enjoyed this. <laughs> I hope it was entertaining. It was a little bit of, it was a taste of what I used to do on Twitter when I shut down everything but Twitter in 2019. Um... If I did anything, I would shut everything but Facebook down now. Facebook's important, and it's part of the future, innovatively, for, for a reason. All right, more on that next time. I love you guys. Thank you for watching.